Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Spectamen channel once again. So I just finished the recording of the new short movie and uh, I hope you will see that in the next two days right here at this channel. And if you are new to this channel then I hope you would like this previous short movie of mine. And the link is right here. So you can click on that and watch that. Okay, so if you have watched that video in which I made the structure of my face just like you can see I have made this so today I will show how I did that so for that you just need two photographs of yourself one from the side and one from the front with no things on your face and no expressions so when you have your photographs then open this software And with the 3D model is ready, you can export that to 3ds Max. So I will show how will you export it to the 3ds Max. And you can then play with it and add a whole body to it. So I will just show how will you export it to 3ds Max and use that there. So let's get into this. Okay guys, so the next steps are in the computer. So open your computer and open this application. The link to this application is in the description, so you can get it from there. It will be a demo version. Here you see there is already my face structure in it. So there are many different options in here. And this app, this software is called FaceGen which means face generator this is actually the demo version there will be these two these two letters on your forehead you can create a random facet here you can see that and you can export that so what I will do now is I will create my face structure and I will load my photos into it Okay, so here you can see you can create random face that here and then you can export them later. But I will create my own face structure. So come here to the photo under the create tab and and here click on load image. You can see that it will require your front image, your photo of your front face. And there it is, my photo is loaded. We can correct its orientation later. The next photo that we need is the right side. Here it is. This one is optional, so you can skip this one. Click on next. Okay, now here you can see the rotate, so you can rotate it and you can move it around. Now you can see there is a green dot on the eye here. So you will click here on the eye. Just like that. Now the dot goes on to the next eye. You will click on the next eye. Now it is here to the at this point. And it will keep on going. There on the corners of the mouth. Now here is the chin. That's that's so easy I think. And now at here. And when you place all the markers, it automatically goes to the next photo. So straighten this one also. That's actually the kitchen stuff over there. It's really easy. And just place every tracker, every marker carefully. That's it. Now you will just 
click this create and it says analyzing image and it will create the 3d model it will take some time and there you can see a nice geometry is generated and the texture is also applied onto it but there will be these two letters on your forehead and that is because that this is the demo version so that's not a big problem you can still export it now to export it just come here to file under the file you will find the export click on that and and now i will prefer you just click on this current expression this is the neutral expression so i think this would be good you can play it around with yourself next you must select the obj object format this one is better in 3ds max and now save model i will just save it in a new folder and that's it it's saved and now you can close this now open the 3ds max okay so here is 3ds max now come here and select import as i saved in the desktop so i will open it from there and there it is make sure you have this type of selection click on import and it will import the face here boom and that's it we have the geometry and now you can play with it you can animate it using the morphing or you can do whatever you want you can make the remaining body of it and you can animate it in your movies yeah, you can see when i select it it is an editable mesh and yeah, you can see some sharp edges so you can apply a smooth modifier on it that's it increase the threshold and it will look more smoother so i think that's really helpful and useful and uh, do your experience with it and write down in the comment how you did it and thanks for watching hey subscribe and stay focused